CS2 feels choppy, lags during fights, or just doesn't run how it should, don't worry. In this video, I'll walk you through a full set of powerful optimizations to turn that stuttery mess into a smooth, high FPS experience. So without wasting time, let's jump right in. What's directed with the lag and harping while you play games, so as you need a gear a boost. So. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polar Rive to use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. Open Steam, head to your game library and find Counter-Strike 2. Right-click on the game, choose Properties, and under the General tab, you'll find a field to enter launch options. Here, paste the exact launch code provided in the video description. This code is designed to streamline your system's performance by reducing unnecessary overhead right from the moment CS2 starts. This small tweak can significantly enhance how CS2 handles multi-threading resulting in smoother frame delivery and fewer in-game stutters. Next, we'll make some compatibility adjustments to the game's executable for better system-level performance. Open CS2's properties again, and this time click Installed Files, followed by Browse. This will take you directly to the game's installation folder. Navigate into the bin directory, then into Win64. Here you'll find the game's .exe file. Right-click on it and choose Properties. Under the Compatibility tab, check Disable Full Screen Optimizations. This prevents Windows from forcing the game into a hybrid full screen mode, which can sometimes cause input lag and FPS drops. While you're still in that window, click Change High DPI Settings and check the option that says Override High DPI Scaling Behavior. Set it to Application. This ensures that CS2 handles its own scaling instead of Windows interfering, which can reduce lag and visual glitches, especially on high resolution displays. After making these changes, hit Apply and confirm with OK. Alright guys, the next step to level up your performance in CS2 is to download the CS2 FPS Boost Pack. The download link is available on my official website. Just head over to the description of this video and click the link. Once you're on the site, go to the FPS Boost section. You'll easily spot the latest post. It has the same title and thumbnail as the video you're watching right now, so there's no confusion. After downloading the pack, open it and locate the Registry Optimization folder. Inside, you'll find several registry files that are pre-configured to enhance gaming performance. Install all of them one by one. These registry tweaks work by reallocating system priorities to gaming processes, reducing latency, and improving the overall responsiveness of your PC, specifically for CS2. Once that's done, move on to the next critical component, the Quick Boost application, which is also included in the pack. Install this tool on your system. It's designed to instantly tweak your CPU for better performance with just a few clicks. This ensures smoother gameplay and less lag, especially during intensive moments in CS2 matches. After installation, open Quick Boost and begin in the General tab. Start by enabling Exclusive Full Screen Mode. This setting gives CS2 the highest possible priority when running, which helps eliminate stutters. Next, turn on the Xbox Game Bar. While it's often disabled, certain background services tied to it can actually improve input responsiveness. Then, enable Install Time Resolution Services, a feature that helps reduce input delay by fine-tuning system timing. Now disable Startup Telemetry, which not only boosts performance but also cuts down on Windows tracking in the background. Be sure to turn off Mouse Acceleration as well. This change alone can dramatically improve your aim accuracy in CS2 and other fast-paced shooters. If you're used to inconsistent flicks and tracking, this tweak is a game changer. Next up, disable Power Saving Mode to ensure your system is always using the highest performance profile. Then apply the System Profile Fix, which adjusts system behavior to favor stability and responsiveness during gaming. After that, enable Auto Complete, a small but helpful tweak for faster access to system settings and commands. Continue by disabling unnecessary system services to reduce resource usage from background apps that don't contribute to gaming. This frees up CPU and RAM for CS2. While you're at it, open Task Manager, head to the Startup tab, and disable any programs that you don't need to launch at boot. Personally, I disabled an outdated background tool that was eating up resources, freeing up memory, and improving CS2 load times. Now it's time to get rid of bloatware, those pre-installed apps you never use. After cleaning things up, switch to the Advanced tab and Quick Boost. Disable Power Throttling, a key Windows feature that limits CPU power during high loads. Turning it off ensures your CPU runs at full strength. You'll also notice advanced options like memory tweaks and BCD tweaks here. Only adjust these if you're experienced. Incorrect settings could cause system instability. Next, perform a cleanup of temporary files to remove junk that could be slowing your PC down. Click Clean Temporary Files and Quick Boost and let the tool do its job. You might notice your screen flicker briefly. This is totally normal. Once it's done, hit OK to confirm. This cleanup can take a few minutes, depending on how much data your system has piled up. 
Finally, head over to the Download tab in Quick Boost. Here you'll find important performance resources like NVIDIA GPU optimization tools, recommended driver updates, and links to utilities such as the MSI Mode Utility. Install and configure these tools, especially the NVIDIA Control Panel settings, for maximum graphics performance. These tweaks ensure that your GPU is operating with the most optimized settings for high FPS and smooth gameplay in CS2. Once all settings are in place, click Apply Changes to finalize everything. You can now close Quick Boost, and at this point your system should be fully optimized. You'll notice a clear FPS boost and reduced lag when you jump back into Counter-Strike 2, especially on lower-end systems. Smooth aim, stable frames, and faster reaction time. It's all coming together now. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your Ping C. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now, go to the Not tab, where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Next, open the Settings app. From there, go to the System section, then select Power and Sleep and click on Additional Power Settings. This will take you into the Advanced Power Configuration window, where you can unlock higher performance potential. To get the best results, in the left sidebar, click on Choose what the Power buttons do, and then select Change Settings that are currently unavailable. Once the hidden options are visible, uncheck the box labeled Turn on Fast Startup. This setting, when enabled, puts your system into a hybrid sleep mode rather than shutting it down completely. Disabling it allows your system to perform a full reset each time it powers off, which can reduce memory leaks and help maintain consistent performance during long gaming sessions. Now head back into the power options and select the high performance plan. If your system supports it, you can also choose the ultimate performance plan for even better results. This option is especially useful for high-end or gaming-focused setups. Next, click Change Plan Settings, then choose Change Advanced Power Settings. A new window will appear with dozens of options. Expand the PCI Express section and under Link State Power Management, set it to Off. This prevents the system from reducing GPU performance through power-saving features, which can sometimes cause stutters or FPS drops in CS2. Now scroll down to Processor Power Management. Here, adjust both the minimum processor state and maximum processor state to 100%. This ensures your CPU is always running at full capacity, which is crucial for games like Counter-Strike 2 that require consistent, low-latency performance. After making all these adjustments, apply and save the changes. With your system now running on a high-performance power plan and all CPU throttling and unnecessary power-saving features disabled, you'll notice a clear improvement in CS2 gameplay. Now guys, launch Task Manager. Just right-click on your taskbar and select Task Manager from the menu. Once it's open, switch to the Services tab to access the full list of active services running on your system. Now scroll through the list and locate any Xbox-related services. Look out for entries like Xbox Accessory Management Service, Xbox Jipus VC, Xbox Live Auth Manager, Xbox Game Save, and Xbox Net Service. These are typically only needed if you're using Xbox features like Remote Play or Game Bar integration. If you're not actively using these features, right-click on each one individually and choose Stop to disable them. This simple action helps your system reclaim valuable CPU and RAM resources, which can then be redirected to running CS2 more efficiently. If you're not using Xbox Game Bar for screen recording or overlay features, it's also a good idea to disable it entirely. Doing so not only reduces background processing, but also helps prevent random input lag or FPS dips caused by system hooks tied to the Game Bar. Once you've disabled the unnecessary services, make sure to restart your PC to allow all the changes to fully apply. After rebooting, your system will be running with significantly fewer background tasks, freeing up memory, reducing CPU load, and ultimately leading to a more stable and responsive gaming environment. In some setups, this can reduce up to 40 background processes, making a noticeable difference in CS2 performance, especially on low or mid-end systems. Hope this helped. If your game feels smoother now, drop a like and consider subscribing for more CS2 tips. Catch you in the next one.